is up everybody rod j back in the house thank you for swinging by to check out another video here in the beer channel I'm going to get into another beer to share with you all and this is going to be from new jersey beer company it is going to be a look at the strawberry shortcake milkshake double ipa nine percent abv on this bad boy makes note on the can that it is actually brewed with graham cracker in the mash fresh strawberry that is in the ferment it is conditioned on marshmallow and vanilla and then it is hopped with sabro so a lot of good things taking place on this beer let's go ahead and get it into the glass and check this out new jersey beer company another new brewery i am checking out being back here on the east coast you got a nice golden orange yellow color that you're kind of accustomed to it has a little bit of a definitely inside the orange type color when you think of peeling an orange has a little bit deeper of a color there the head pretty much like you expect kind of a eggshell white there got just under a half a finger or so on head that came out of the pour but a very nice looking beer aroma wise you definitely get a little sense of strawberry shortcake you get the strawberry on the nose very nicely you get some of that sweetness you get a nice vanilla feel Definitely has a little bit of a dessert appeal to it. A little bit of a tartness coming out on the nose as well. But what I like about the aroma at least is that you don't have to sniff really too hard. Really comes out of the glass rather easily. You really are able to pick it up nicely and it gets that first element that's gonna be later impacting your taste really in effect. Speaking of which, let's get the taste on this bad boy. Taste-wise, middle of the tongue, I get a nice feel of kind of that strawberry shortcake presence. Strawberry, cream, vanilla, a little bit of that graham. Definitely hits like a dessert feel right there in the center of the tongue, which is nice. Body-wise, you have a nice medium body on the beer itself. Have a little bit of a sweetness in there. Do have a little bit of that tartness in play as well. When I hold it on the tongue, you get a little bit of a tongue prickling sensation, very little, not too much, but definitely pick up a little bit of that carbonation in play. You get a little bit of a mouthfeel where it does come off nicely into the cheeks, where you do have that taking place and kind of hanging in there for a little bit. But the duration, not as long as some of the other beers, is decent, just not as long as some of the other ones I have where it lasts around. It does fade out after a few seconds. But overall, goes down really easy on the back end. So I do it and like that part of it. It's got a little bit of a crisp appeal to it as well. You get a nice splash from the flavor on the beer. Not, not really too drying at all. You really can feel it nicely behind the back of the lips as I sit here, I am picking up there. So I would say the duration is actually going a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna go early on. It is, it is lingering a little bit. You sit this down and you let this baby warm up a little bit as well. Try to enjoy this, I would say, probably around 45 to 50, if you can, um, just to get more of that flavor and more of the aroma out of it. But it is very nice overall as far as being a double IPA. It's, uh, if you're a fan of strawberry shortcake, I think you'll pick up some of those moments here as well. So it does deliver on that. Not overly sweet, which is great as well. A little bit of that bitterness there. I mean, we are talking about an IPA, so it had a little bit there, but not too much. The malts really smoothed it out. And overall, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a decent one put together. So New Jersey Beer Company, Strawberry Shortcake Milkshake, double IPA. Not too bad. It's not as, I would say, creamy as some of the other milkshake double IPAs I've had, but that's fine. You do have a little bit of that smoothness in there, like I mentioned, just not overly smooth like some of them, but uh, not bad. New Jersey Beer Company. I have to check out maybe some more of their stuff. Here's a look at the can as well. If you've had it, let me know what you think of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. Definitely appreciate you guys swinging by as always. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on, drink beer, live hoppily. Oh, this one here, decent enough that I would give a 3.75 out of five. Cheers, everybody.